Hey, it's Aaron with the Wealthy Environmental Center. A few days ago, we went on a backyard safari and we found some worms and that got me thinking, maybe we should go over a little bit of our worm anatomy just to know a little bit more about our friends outside in the dirt. So, let's take a look at my friend here, Wormy. Wormy is my worm puppet. It helps me describe worm anatomy to all of my camper friends. So, let's take a look at the outside. You'll notice that there are these dark red lines and then the light pink in between. Well, the dark red lines are muscles. All right, let's find out about muscles. Hold your arm up in an L, grab hold of your bicep, and twist your hand back and forth, and you'll feel your bicep move. That's your muscle, big and strong. And worms are mostly muscle. Now, in between those muscles, we have lots of skin. And that helps them accordion as they move. On the outside of their skin, and I don't have any on my uh, worm puppet here, but they have something called setae. Setae are nice, strong, firm hairs that help them grip the soil and pull them through as they move their muscles. All right, now you'll also notice that there's this band right here on the worm. Well, that's where baby worms come from. This is the clitellum. So baby worms, they form inside the clitellum, and when they're nice and big and strong, they crawl out and away from their parent worm. All right. Let's take a look inside my worm. My puppet is super awesome. Let's open it up. <gasps> what? We can see inside the worm. What's my worm made out of? A pool noodle? That's right. Okay, so our worm has a mouth just like you. Point to your mouth. Nice work. All right, our worm has a pharynx. A pharynx is a nice, strong muscle, like the muscle in your cheek that helps you move your jaw. Everybody put your hand on your cheek. Now open and close your mouth. Nom, 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 nom. Nice work. All right, next we have an esophagus. All right, your esophagus is located right here in your neck. So gently take hold of your neck. Don't squeeze too hard. Now take a big breath and now swallow. Oh yeah, you can feel your esophagus move, huh? Now. Next, super exciting, we have two stomachs, just like chickens. We have a craw and a gizzard. And inside the craw and gizzard, there are tiny little particles of sand and small rocks to help grind up their food. See, worms don't have teeth, but they can take hold and bite of things like leaves and other decomposing matter. And then with their muscles, they bring it into their stomachs where their stomachs grind it up with that sand and then send it into their intestines. Worms are mostly intestines. Look how long that is. And out the other side comes castings. That's what you call worm poop, castings. Isn't that exciting? All right, I wanna get an even up close and more personal look at some of our wormy friends. So let's head inside and take a closer look. Before we go, I thought we might try to eat like a worm. Would you like to try to eat like a worm with me? Yeah, I thought so. So let's try to eat like a worm. Let's make a wormy mouth. Let's put it over our heads. Let's take a big bite. Now, how does the worm get it into the next part of its body? Well, it shrinks up real small and pulls it into the pharynx, and then it gets real long and brings it into the esophagus and gets real small and moves it into the craw and then gets real long into the gizzard and then real small into the intestine and then it moves it through the intestine by going up and down, up and down and down. And then it poops and makes a casting. All right, thanks for eating like a worm with me. 
Wasn't that fun getting an up close and personal look at some of our wormy friends? I thought that was super fun. Well, I hope that you'll join us next time for whatever we do next. I'm sure it's going to be exciting. All right, I'll see you next time.